chances are you already know who he is. But if you don't, let me tell you. He's one of the most well-known life coaches in the world. He sold more than 15 million copies of his books and 50 million copies of his audio programs worldwide. He owns and lives on a 525 acre island in Fiji known as the Namale Island. His net worth is above $600 million. His loyal fans happily pay tens of thousands just for the privilege of being in the same room as him for a few days. But he was never supposed to be this famous or rich. Hi, my name is Kinnar Sachdev. And in this video today, I'm going to talk about how Tony Robbins went from a nobody to being the Tony Robbins, the entrepreneur, philanthropist, number one New York Times best-selling author and the world's top life and business strategist. Tony Robbins is so successful today because he has quietly built an empire of companies that generate around $6 billion per year. If they were one company, it would be listed in the Fortune 500. But it wasn't like this always. In fact, the man who seems larger than life was once shrimpy and short, grew up in poverty in a broken home and had zero prospects. The oldest of three children, Robin's parents, divorced when he was seven. He didn't have a father figure to look up to. His family was poor and without a regular income. Robbins, who at 6 feet 7 inches looks like he could have been a former professional athlete, was just 5 foot 1 inches when he entered high school. By the age of 16, he was still 5'7". Today, Robbins is more than 10 inches taller than his high school self because he was diagnosed with a tumor in his brain. Fortunately, the life-threatening tumor has since stabilized. Sadly, his mother had an alcohol and drug addiction. So by the age of 14, Tony had to take care of his siblings, cook food and take care of the house all by himself while still studying in school. But that still wasn't enough. One day, his mother, under the effect of that substance abuse, chased him out with a knife and Robbins had to run away to save himself. And so he never returned. At 17, living on his own, Tony had to literally survive on a janitor's salary of $40 per week. He was broke and helpless. Looking to change his life, he splurged on a $35 three-hour seminar with personal development coach Jim Rohn. It turned out to be one of the most important investments of my life, Robin said in his 2014 book, Money Master the Game. Robbins eventually was able to work as an assistant to his mentor Ron and work 12 to 14 hours every day. It was during this opportunity that he received one of the best advice from his mentor. He needed to build a skill set. Only then would he be able to offer more value than anyone else and really that advice seriously paid off. So that's when he decided to scale up his motivational speaking style by watching Ron and adding his own high energy style and behavioral psychology spin to it. Soon, Robbins was taking his own seminars on the road. People loved his style and approach. I mean, would you walk on fire if your coach told you to do so? But he regularly gets people to fire walk in his sessions. He even made Oprah Winfrey do that fire walk. In fact, his sessions are so high energy, it's a given that almost all of the sessions have this explosive start with Tony Robbins bringing the audience to life. The crowd goes crazy every single time. By the time Tony had turned 26, he had added best-selling author to his title and was already a millionaire. By 2007, Robbins had gone from making $40 per week to $30 million per year. Just like his best-selling books, his own mindset is one of a high achiever. He believes in focusing on what's possible in a situation, no matter whatever hardships one has to go through. Tony Robbins' incredible success is a testimony to four business principles he follows. Number one, he's focused on building a business that adds value to the world, not just dollars in his bank account. You feel so filled up when what you do adds so much value to people's lives that it lights them up. You can't compare that with money, he says. But if you run your business right and you add that much value, you will do well financially. 
That's also what he said in one of his interviews. Number two, he has unleashed a business model that helps him grow 10x. Not just him, every celebrity and influencer follows a playbook to keep their audience engaged and drive traffic to their business and websites. In Robin's case, he drives 95% organic traffic through his large fan following and personal branding. The rest of 5% is through pure marketing and strategic activities. In fact, his funnels are in themselves an interesting case study. Number three, Robbins believes in the power of preparation. Before any business decision or workshop, Robbins gives himself plenty of time to prepare. He goes on breaking down the goals in chunks so that every bit gets his detailed attention. Number four, he has worked hard on his personal branding. I mean, it's not a joke to get more than 4 million people to attend your live seminars. Not just that, more than 50 million people in 100 countries have experienced his audio, video and training sessions. He talks about self-improvement, facing your fears and overcoming obstacles. When you think of a life coach, there isn't a bigger name than Tony Robbins. But it wasn't easy. Neither was his empire built in one day. He was knocked down several times. He survived extreme mercury poisoning, had to put off a bad marriage behind him and fought back a tough battle to succeed after one of his business partners abandoned him with a bill for $150 million. And that was when his business and brand were much smaller. So how did he do it all? He never panicked. Instead, he kept getting better at handling issues and obstacles. He learned to invest his energy and money wisely. During a film festival screening of his latest project, a new Netflix documentary called Tony Robbins, I Am Not Your Guru, Robbins shared what he calls the single most important bit of business advice he gives his clients, something he's become adept at following himself. There are always two businesses you've got to manage. There's the business you are in and the business you are becoming. If you just manage the business you are in, you're going to get knocked out by new technology or new competition. But if you're constantly managing those two businesses, you won't have to quit or pivot because you're always doing something to innovate or to change or to improve. In other words, the man never ever stops. Lots of people run successful coaching businesses. Lots of people offer sound, incisive advice, but none of them could get three American presidents' attentions. So when Robin can, why can't you? Because he starts with just a primary question. How can I help? And exhausts himself till he has ended up giving them a part of himself because he truly wants to help them even at 2 a.m. The secret sauce with Tony is that he recognizes that he's not in the transaction business. The guy literally is in the relationship business. The ultimate formula for how to be successful in the coaching business consists of several key principles. Your desired outcome, what inspires you and the massive action you plan to take to get there. It starts with starting by creating your online presence, building a large following and diversifying into various other segments of coaching. Think of going online, think of making it big. So if there is one thing that you can take away from this video for yourself, I would say that would be to get started and take that first step, that first step to building your coaching empire, launch your coaching program or a course. And if you need help in doing that, Nourish can help you do that from the start. From your personal website to launching courses and coaching programs to doing live online seminars, Nourish can help you with everything. Thousands have taken that first step in building something meaningful, a coaching business that they are proud of. I want you to also get started and launch yours on Nourish. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked watching it, please share it with someone who needs to hear this as well. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.